Hello everybody, Doug Turkat here. Gonna do a video on how to do rocker panel and cab corner replacement yourself. Unfortunately, fortunately, my phone broke while I'm doing this project, so I lost some footage. But I'm gonna show you the final product, but I did have some saved over footage for when I knocked all the rust out and you could see where I was gonna place the new panel. So let's get started. Typical rust you find on these on the rocker panels, the floorboard, and the cab corner back here. The cab corner is not actually rusted out that bad, just a little bit at the bottom. But the rocker panel and floorboard has some extensive rust here. And you can see we've cut away all the rust damage and ground the edges down to get the paint off. And then that under part right there, we're not gonna do anything to cut that out because it's kind of like in the place where it needs to be. We're going to spray line all that really good. We're gonna clean it off a little bit better and spray line the whole thing. Then we've got uh, some new sheet metal here somewhere. We're going to weld new metal in. But this whole project, we're going to, oops, here's the sheet metal we're gonna use right there. We're gonna cut that down and bend it to fit and weld it in. But what we did, we did buy the pre-made cab corners and rocker panel replacement parts. And everybody said you have to take the front fender and the door off to get it up in there. But you know what, you really, we don't have that much rust on the front. The rust was all concentrated right here along the edge. There wasn't that much rust up on the front part. So what we're gonna do to repair this is we actually just trimmed, do you have that trim piece that I handed you? I did. Uh, we trimmed this much off of the front of the repair panel. And once that was cut off, the repair panel slid easily right up into place. And you can see how nice that lined up perfectly. And we're gonna reach in there with the stick welder and just weld around the edges of it in place right here. And there's not gonna be any reason to take the door and fender off. Same thing at the back corner. We're not gonna take the cab or the bed off either. Let's see, let me get a view of that. We're not gonna take the bed off. We're going to push everything into place. You can see it's already pushed into place. You gotta cut this down a little, right? Oh yeah. We're gonna cut this cab corner. This is all good metal behind here, right down to this area here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off somewhere in here and just bead weld it around it and wrap the bead weld around as far as we can stick the welding stick to into the back there and call it good. Fabricate the new floor pan, weld it all up, and we'll do some... Okay, so you see me knock out all the rust. Unfortunately, as I said before, my phone lost all the footage. If I'm able to fix my phone, I will post that footage up of us welding it together. But here it is. Too hard at all. We did uh, maybe like six hours, seven hours total on it. Really not that bad. We also did exhaust, the exhaust on it. We took the old muffler out and then put in a uh, two-chamber Flow Pro style muffler which i will show you here's the end product you can see the new rocker panel is in place fairly in line with the truck not a professional but you know not bad for first time cab corner right there not bad did not take the bed off i should have but here's the originally the exhaust came out here but we did a front side pipe exhaust with the chrome tip my friend hated the tip but you know i kind of like that small little chrome one and let's get under here Welded the new pipe in, and as you can see, there's our two-chamber muffler right there. Make sure you angle it in right, or make sure you put the inlet and outlet on the right side. We unfortunately had it messed up, but uh, then we had to switch it back around. So that's our muffler. It was really easy to weld together. Um, well, let's get back to the cab corners here. The door closes fairly good. I'm still working on the molding, like. I could bundle that up better. It's just primered right now. I need to get a color matching paint and get a paint gun. But here, oh, door's locked. Here's the driver's side. It lines up fairly good. Door closes good. Primered also. Um, this side came out pretty good. Once again, could use a little bit more bondo, but oh well. Here's our nice new rocker panel. It's sturdy enough to stand on. And then as you can see, Underneath, it's kind of hard to tell, but all through here, even to the shifter, the four-wheel drive shifter, 
It is all new metal, so we don't have to worry about more rusting. We even changed metal out up through here around the seat bolt holders, so that's also securely nice in. We used Bondo to fill in any gaps we may have or we're maybe concerned about and uh, welded everything in. We didn't. We should have took the fender off. Once again, we're not professionals. We're trying to do this cheaply and easily. It was only like a $500 truck, so we cut it and welded it the best we could there and inside but it didn't all around it didn't come out bad and the truck once again is we bought it for 500 bucks four-wheel drive not bad at all looking truck i will show you more of it you can see underneath i'm under here right now all oh, this is hard to here's the cab corner right here welded that together here's the fresh metal here's the cut metal we cut right here but then we welded the metal up on top over the old metal just to give more support and we also bondo down here in any crack just to help prevent water and we tack welded and just kept welding and grinding and made it all nice and pretty up here fresh new metal all welded together and it came out really really good but don't ever be afraid while doing a project like this if it's already rusted as all heck because to be honest you can do it yourself because it's not gonna get any worse unless unless like let's this isn't gonna get any worse if you're cut if it's already rusted it's rusted it's not gonna get any worse unless if you're cutting your whole door then don't make it worse you know cab corners weren't too hard you should take off the box if you're able to I didn't really have I mean I sh I could have made time for it, but we nah, it would have been a hard process for just one guy to do that. Here's the truck all around. It's a pretty nice solid truck. That was the only rust on it. Look at that. That's how you do your rocker panels and cab corners on your truck. See that side came out good too. That came out smooth. And then we climb under here and did the same thing. You just get your new metal, weld it up, up onto, you gotta cut out all the rusty metal, weld it up somewhere up here where it's good, grind it down, and start just tacking and welding, and just keep going, and you can do it. Look at this, this is not this is gonna last another, this is gonna last a while. Very happy of how it turned out. The exhaust turned out good. All around turned out a great project. Just got to paint it and then we'll be done. Go ahead, check out my other channel. Lots of videos on there. How-to videos, truck videos. Um, bye for now.